Thanks, Austin. Any general announcements before I start? All right. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, I'll call the uh, meeting to order. And my name is Chad Rintoul. I'm the uh, council liaison to the Advisory Planning Commission. We're joined by Councillor Steve Duck as well, who's the, um, uh, I guess, uh, my absence. Steve will, will be okay. here. And Steve has a real interest in um, the Advisory Planning Commission and I know has uh, participated and attended uh, in past. So come on in, Alice. And so, uh, you can sit with Steve. Thank you, here, Alex. Or just chat. Thank you. And um, Steve's got a real interest in this, as I know others on council do. So, despite, despite the fact that um, Steve's not assigned as the the direct liaison, he's certainly the alternate, and um, I appreciate. You know that he wants to be party to the input that the uh, commission has and will be here on a regular basis as well so thanks to steve for joining us and i'll give you the chance to introduce yourself in a moment steve as well um my thanks to you um, many of you have served on the advisory planning commission in past and and there's some new faces to this apc but most importantly you know it's uh greatly appreciated uh, not just from from mayor council and staff but from the community at, at large in terms of having residents input on some of the um, items that are referred to the advisory planning commission and so your perspective taking into account the, the background that um, Richard and Allison will lead us through with respect to orientation uh, you know is is very welcome certainly by council to get your feedback on these projects uh, in particular major developments that are, are coming to Sydney so for those of you returning thank you uh, for stepping up again. And for those of you who are new, um, thank you for your time. And time, I think, is important to all of us. There's a number of people around the table who I know are, uh, you know, uh, in here in between their hours at work. Um, certainly, um, we all have lots of things going on in our lives, whether you're returning to work or not uh, at 4 p.m. So what I would encourage you to do throughout your tenure on the APC is um, respect everyone's time around the table. So if, if you're here with um, you know some items that you want to bring forward, what's appreciated is if you uh, review the package before you come to the meeting so that you're prepared for the meeting to provide that insight. If someone around the table has already perhaps noted some of the points that you have, you may just want to say, yeah, I, I concur with what Eric uh, had to say on these items and not you know, regurgitate all of them in the interest of respecting people's time around the table. Um, but we want to have a fulsome discussion as well. And so um, that's why it's so important that I think the chair, uh, you know, gives great latitude to uh, individuals to provide their insight on these projects. Uh, but we encourage you, please, to try to limit the repetition uh, wherever possible, again, in the interest of respecting people's time. It's my expectation that you know, these meetings will be a couple of hours in nature. And I know sometimes the agenda can make it challenging. And, and the agenda is important. Uh, if you ever feel like it's overloaded, and I know I have in past on occasion, it's simply that there are, um, you know, developers, there's projects, there's there's people, um, there's the scale of economy behind uh, trying to make these decisions and move them through a process. And so we would um, appreciate your understanding with respect to, uh, at times, you know, how the pace can seem quite, uh, quite aggressive. So thank you for your understanding with respect to that. Um, for myself, uh, I'd like to go around and just uh, uh, do some introductions and I'll, I'll start again with myself. And so I'm only chairing the meeting up to the point of the election of a chair, at which time I'll turn it over to the new chair to address the election of the vice chair and then move forward with the adoption of the agenda. And um, by my background, um, it's my second term on council. And uh, I, my day job is as the uh, chief executive officer of the British Columbia Notaries Association. Notaries are fairly uh, involved in non-contentious law, including conveyancing. The Association of British Columbia Land Surveyors as the uh, CAO of the uh, ABCLS, uh, the regulatory body which uh, governs land surveying. Don't want to steal Alex's thunder, but Alex is <laughs> British Columbia Land Surveyor. So thank you, Alex, for your perspective uh, on APC. Uh, with that, I'll turn to uh, Councillor Duck for his introduction, and then over to you, Gay, and we'll just work our way around the table. Good afternoon, everyone. And again, I'm here as just an alternate, so I'm only going to be in that chair or wherever Chad chooses to sit. Um, uh, but I want 
to be here for every meeting just to hear the background so I'm, I'm up to date. My background is I have operated my own company for 42 years. Uh, we focus in agriculture and tourism. Well, one of the projects we have across the street, Sandown Center for Regenerative Agriculture. And this is my first term on council. Previously, I was president of the uh, City Community Association for six years. And so I've been active in the community and sort of current on what's going on. Nice to meet you all. Okay. Hi, my name is uh, Van Siri. I was, uh, I'll take my mask off the top. That'll be easier, but I'll put it on after. Uh, I was a volunteer on the advisory committee for the official plan. And I am a retired urban planner, spent all my career in Calgary and mainly with uh, parks and recreation, but also policy planning in general. And I was an adjunct at the University of British Columbia in the environmental design and a graduate of the UBC planning school, the doctoral program there. I've been in Sydney now for seven years and on the coast for 10. I just can't believe how fast that goes. Thanks, Kim. Hi, my name's Bernadine Vandermeer. I am a retired architectural technologist, also worked uh, with Gay, actually at the city of Calgary, but in planning and building, and um, also served with Gay on the uh, advisory committee for the new official community plan. And I've been with the advisory planning commission now for four years. Thanks for your name, Kelly. <clears throat> I'm my name is Kelly Bultomer, and uh, I grew up in Sydney. I went to North Saanich and Parkland, and then got out of here as soon as I could. <laughs> and moved away and um, 18 years later moved back with a couple of small children and had another one crazily enough um, while I was gone I was a lawyer in California and when we moved back here we changed shifted gears and changed our lives and uh, uh, started a small development company um, and we do mostly infill development in Sydney we've done over 29 mm -hmm. homes in Sydney over the past 15 years, and um, I've been on the APC for 10-ish years, and um, really enjoy this volunteer opportunity and coming together as a community and going through some of the issues that we face as a community. So that's me. Thanks, Kelly. I'm Kelly, <clears throat> chair of the APC about our last couple of terms, so thanks, Kelly, for that. Clarence? Oh, I'm Clarence Bolt. I've uh, been on the peninsula and just doing the math and it's coming close to 40 years now. Uh, grew up in the Lower Mainland. I'm a retired historian uh, and I've been on, uh, served on municipal council uh, four years in this APC and boards of variants for numerous times. My graduate work was in BC history and, and land was a major issue there, looking at uh, the process of development in British Columbia from the time of European contact and after and how land developed over time and how crown land treaties and all of that didn't or did or did not affect because BC doesn't really have many treaties. Uh, most of it's untreated land still, but nonetheless, that was the big focus of my teaching, looking at how uh, the landscape changed over time. And so looking at it on a microscopic sco uh, scope, which is Sydney, because it really is microscopic compared to some places, uh, is really kind of, uh, I think, an important thing to see how we do things at a very small local level. Thanks, Andrew. My name's Andrew Tidman. I'm the third generation um, of a family construction company here in the peninsula. I've lived here my whole life, never left. Um, <laughs> and I'm happy about that. And I like the opportunity to sit on APC. This is my second term because uh, I feel passionate about our community. And preserving what we all love about our community. Good. Thanks, Andrew. Alex. My name is Alex Dorwick. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize for being late. I didn't realize we'd have traffic in Sydney, but apparently, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am, uh, as uh, Chad hinted, I'm a British Columbia land surveyor. I'm uh, an active land surveyor, uh, part, or, part owner of Polaris Land Surveying. Um, and um, as part of this operation, I'm responsible for uh, peninsula in Greater Victoria area. Um, I've been in Sydney. This is my fifth year, so not as long as some of you. But just because of the nature of my work, I was always interested in in 
participation, some sort of commission of, um, you know, planning or similar. I was not unfortunately elected to the OCP committee, uh, but I thought I will try this one and uh, I'm really excited to look forward to working with all of you. Okay. Thanks, Alex. And you've been in Sydney how many years? Fifth year. Yeah, Good crazy. Story. And Polaris still got a presence up in Powell River as well. Yeah, it's yeah. Far away, yeah. Is, uh, Coach in Powell right. River, Salt Spring, and here. Yeah. Thanks, Alex. Eric. So my name is Eric Diller. I'm originally from the Couch and Belly, grew up in Mill Bay, and then uh, moved away to Vancouver. And then uh, employment circumstances changed, and found myself working at Viking, where I met my lovely wife, and uh, I've been on the peninsula since uh, 2008. And uh, in Sydney since uh, 2012, and I yeah, just have an interest in um, what's being built and how. And I'm a uh, change careers, and now I'm an electrician. I have my own company in Sydney. Jesus. Thank you, Eric. Welcome, uh, David. Hello, everyone. Uh, David Ryder. Uh, like Alec, I've lived in Sydney for five years now. I've had property on the island for about 10 years before that. I uh, hail from all over Canada, actually, originally in Ontario. Uh, partner in a, a larger uh, Edmonton uh, architectural firm. I'm a retired architect now. Had uh, involvement in both sides of this uh, committee's involvement in the community. So I'm interested in that. I'm also a member of the Accessibility uh, Advisory Committee in Sydney. and. I I enjoy that. Um, hopefully, uh, can contribute as I can on this. I'm very interested to see the uh, proper growth, let's say, of Sydney and uh, want to contribute. Great. Thank you very much, Lucina. Thank you. Uh, Lucina Barrylock lived in Sydney for 10 years and prior to that, uh, North Saanich and Central Saanich for another 10 years. So the peninsula holds a special place in my heart. Very special place. Um, as in my professional career, I've worked um, for about 40 years, local government, uh, City of Victoria, uh, City of Vancouver, Regional District of Nanaimo, um, done some work for Central Saanich and Central Saanich, um, and all that time in, for the most part, land use planning. All right, Councillor Intel, please. Thank you, Chair. Um, and thanks uh, very much for that, that overview. And I think your summation was great. It's it's really where you find the information. And it, it as you noted, it evolves too, right? So, I mean, even though you've got a hard copy of it today, it may well change. And I think that's an item you'll see um, before Council. We noted um, the new OCP and, and what's happening in the background right now. Uh, with staff is working on so see zoning bylaw amendments uh, start to come forward uh, likely this calendar year but it does mean that um, you know, this group will see a lot of changes in relation to zoning bylaw uh, throughout this year in particular I would anticipate in terms of um, other uh, items before council in the way of uh, referrals to the Commission. I think the group previously saw the condo project Rest Haven near Harbor Landing, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there was a smaller development. Um, APC reviewed and referred back to council. The APC recommendation uh, was to see uh, a number of changes initiated, and council upheld that APC decision. If I recall correctly, that is back in the hands of, of the developer and I don't believe has returned uh, yet. And so the motions that stood, I believe, was that it would likely come back to APC before it goes to council. So you may see uh, that one again. Uh, likewise, I think similarly, although I don't know if this one ever made it to APC, the, the um, condo complex Oakville near fifth, that went to committee the whole, uh, there were a number Never of changes. Made. It's been back a second time to committee the whole and has now been referred to APC. So we'll see that one. 
but I don't think that one's been here yet. So that one will be new uh, to this group on the on the near horizon. And the um, as an update, the project at the end of White Birch Road, which uh, those are rental apartments um, down at the marina and the White Birch Road, that did come to APC, mm -hmm. as I recall. Um, the, I think the, the dialogue at council, um, the item was tabled for some uh, further insight from staff in relation to um, strata stratification of those units versus uh, apartments uh, during development. And so that was more, I would say, a housekeeping a curiosity that council were pursuing and wanted to see come back. But at this time, it hasn't been referred you know, back to APC. In fact, it was well received at APC, as I recall. And uh, frankly, I think it was well received at council was my impression as well. It was just a matter of that issue. One of the recommendations from APC was that they be rental in, might have been in perpetuity, yeah. which That's was true. an item you know that um, I certainly reported out on the APC's position that I didn't support. Uh, I felt it was probably detrimental to uh, future development opportunities to see that sort of you know restriction on um, you know new larger developments in the community, particularly rentals, which you know led us down that discussion of uh, how many years then would it be ten years, would it be fifteen years, uh, etc. And so that has been tabled uh, for some further clarification from staff. So uh, council re will revisit that. I doubt that it comes back to APC in that sense. Two other, um, well, I guess one other initiative. I, I commented on the uh, the OCP uh, leading to zoning bylaw changes, but the I will note this one item, for example, that's coming back to APC, and that's that condo complex rest haven near Harbor Landing. And a lot of that I think in all fairness to the developer was was put together under the old OCP and some of what we're vetting it against is the new OCP. And so I think we'll see probably um, in this interim period, you know, developers may be um, you know, using these two guides as they've put together their projects. And so just a, a reminder to the group that you may see some discrepancy between OCP and new OCP referenced in staff reporting. Uh, we certainly saw some of that late in uh, 2022. And then uh, on, on the horizon for the town, uh, council has uh, moved forward a draft active transportation plan uh, for community engagement. And so there's a, a number of months set aside uh, for a number of processes in relation to trying to get that draft plan out to residents to get their feedback and comment on ATP, and it could very well be in conjunction with the chair and and staff that um, you know there may be an opportunity for us just to see a quick PowerPoint on that if one of our agendas have you know lots of latitude in it so that this group becomes a little more familiar with that. But I would certainly encourage uh, all of you as residents to uh, to participate in the online survey at the very least when it comes out. Some in person touch points as well scheduled in that at the very least for Senate that you'll see advertised in the press as well. And that one will be big, and I think have lots of um, lots of interest in the community. So important, I think, uh, you know, for this group to be plugged into that and potentially uh, look to provide comments, right, Clarence? Just a question on that. Uh, it was in my mind to ask you a question on that, so you brought it up. Could it be referred to the APC? When I look at uh, you know 461 and transportation is one of the issues that was listed as part of the mandate of the OCP. Yeah, it makes some sense to you know have us maybe as a group put particular energy and time into it and have dialogue rather than just individually responding? Yeah, I, I mean, I think so. I, I, at the council meeting, there was a motion, I know, to try and refer it to a number of uh, independent committees of the town or or even um, committees that the town is involved with other uh, municipalities. So try um, municipal participants such as the accessibility. So, um, I don't think we specifically named committees or commissions, but what the motion asked was that that staff put together a PowerPoint that council liaisons and staff could bring back to their liaison assignments. So I would take that in conjunction with Kelly and, and Allison that if we've got an agenda where there's you know, clearly some time in there that a development isn't being kind of you know, put aside to try and address this, that we could tackle it on that agenda. But I don't think we'd see it as a formal uh, resolution from council at this stage, but I agree with you that this, and that's why I brought it up. It's important to get some insight from this group. So I'll, I'll look uh, with, with Kelly to see if we have an opportunity to do that. 
Just just to follow up to that yeah. over the years, you know, I've brought up this point a number of times that there are items that council could refer to the APC and doesn't because the uh, Local Government Act does have a really broad list of uh, and a lot long list of things that could be referred. Yeah. And we tend to have focused largely just on developments. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. No, and I, you and I have had that conversation and I know you had it with Peter before me. And so I, I take that uh, certainly into account. And I think in this case, that the position of council is we really want to get all committees uh, familiar with this. It's it's a big undertaking. Uh, again, it's very much a draft. And so I have decided that for sure. Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering about the zoning bylaw changes that might be resulting out of the new OCP. Um, will those come out gradually in different sections, or is there going to be one big package, or do staff have any comment about what might happen there? Yeah, um, Corey Newcomb is our senior manager of long-range planning, and he's going to be leading that review of the zoning bylaw, the, so the zoning bylaw update. So I expect there'll be an approach report to council sometime early in 2023 mm -hmm. about that process and how that works. Okay, so, thanks. Let's stay tuned. Councillor Doc, did I miss anything? No, it comes fine. Okay. I think that's it, unless there are any other any other questions or comments from councillors. Okay. Well, um, I understand we are having a meeting next week. Is that yes, I should, we were just talking about that. Okay. Yeah. Councillor Winchell actually missed one of the developments. So there is a development at the corner of Malview and Fifth Street, which we'll be coming back to the agenda for you. See, we saw that one before. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so that one was previously a two lot um, development and now is uh, a three lot um, development, townhome development. So they acquired that orphan lot right. that APC oh, had commented on. Mm -hmm. um, and the second um, item on that agenda will be the uh, the smaller condo development at the corner uh, on Orchard. Um, just, Oakville, Oakville right. sorry, yeah. just, um, just off fifth. Okay. Yeah, three lot. And that will be next week then. Okay, I, fortunately, and I, I think I've already told Ruth this and Ellis and I won't be here next week. So Clarence. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I hate to miss those two. Uh, yeah, that's those interesting will be one. interesting. Yeah. Um, all right. With nothing else, then um, I could get a motion to adjourn, please, from someone. So moved. Clarence. Second is by Bradine. All in favor? Um, so moved. And it's uh, three or two fifty-one by that clock. But <laughs> <laughs> Accurate or not, but thank you very much. Thanks, sure. How do you draw the circle on that? Excellent. See you next week. Get right at it. So